Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And in our top stories today, it's going to be primarily just my opinion and commentary. As you guys know, in the recent news, we have Mike Pence calls on Trump to apologize for a dinner that was put on. I'm not going to go into the specific details of it because of uh, the nature of it. But I just want to say that my commentary here is going to be mostly my opinion and thoughts on all of this. Because what we do here on the Buzzword Channel is we take the difficult, we take the complicated, we take the tumult, chaos, that is oftentimes being created to sway and move people into particular directions as narratives are being put out there by mainstream media, by the establishment uniparty that we talk about. And there's a lot of maneuvering going on, and this is... What I want to talk to you guys about is the maneuvering you're seeing here. Now, as you guys know, for the last six years, the Democrats, the establishment, and the Trump detractors have gone after Donald Trump, pursued him for six years diligently, using all legal measures that they can think of, even using the Department of Justice, weaponizing our Department of Justice and institutions within our government to go after President Trump, even so far as to create a two-year fabricated Russian collusion story. Now, without mentioning the specific details of the dinner and its arrangements, I'm going to direct you guys to the Timcast IRL show from last night. And you can watch it on Odyssey if you want to. You can watch it on YouTube. And if you are on Odyssey, I know there's a lot of different platforms I tell you guys to follow me on. But nonetheless, I watch a lot of these on Odyssey because we do get the uh, blockchain uh, credit and currency. Uh, for just participating on the site, which I like. But it's very interesting because you have the situation with Mike Pence being paraded around there on mainstream media, of course, because as you know, for the six years, it's really been guilt by association when it comes to Donald Trump. They can't get Donald Trump. They know they can't indict uh, a former president. In the history of the United States, we have never had a former president or sitting president ever indicted. We've had them resign, we've had them impeached, but none of them have been indicted because it isn't necessarily about the person, it's about the office of the United States that cannot and probably will not ever be tainted with some sort of scandal like that because that would send a terrible message, not only to the American people, but to the world that the United States has reached a level of now where there is, uh, well, I'll just say corruption for the simplest term. Now, of course, we always have all of this underlying stuff going on but suffice it to say that they have pursued Donald Trump for six years. This whole story with Kanye West and others, which I will not mention. I will mention Milo Yiannopoulos. They organized this. Now, if you guys want all the context and details as to how it was organized, who organized it, why it was organized, I would encourage you guys to watch the Timcast IRL show. A little plug for Tim. I have a lot of respect for Tim. I don't always agree with him on certain things. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that he tries to present things as clearly and as concisely as possible. He's very well articulate. He's very well spoken. He's very knowledgeable. He's got a lot of great contacts, has a lot of great experience. And uh, so, in my opinion here, we have two sets of situations that are going on. Now, as you can see here, the post-millennial went after or started talking about the fact that Kanye stormed off the Tim Cast IRL show after, after Tim pushes back on that particular remark. So... Yay, as he's now referred to. Now, these are all people of influence, okay? So I want to emphasize this real clearly to everyone. What you're seeing now is a play for influence, whether it is the Democrats, whether it is uh, the progressives, whether it is uh, the establishment uniparty, or anyone, even or, or perhaps even myself, who has a little influence, tiny little bit of influence, as I'm a tiny little YouTube channel creator, Growing quite well, though, thanks to shorts, specifically because my long form is long form is constantly under attack. Well, it's constantly being uh, censored by the AI, which is why I uh, now am so happy about what Elon Musk is doing at Twitter. But nonetheless, we can see the strategy that's going to be un unfolding as in the next two years. And I want to talk about this now early in the stage of all this going on. Because you guys are very astute who watch my programming, watch my show, watch my, my content. You guys know that I try to take the information and present it to you in a way that is understandable. Because everyone's trying to move for influence. We see that just in social media in general. Everyone's looking for those influence points. We've always talked about how 
a lot of these creators try to use that influence or their influence on the platforms to go to resorts and things of that nature. So it's, it's, it's about influence and guilt by association. And so I think what we're going to see now coming into the next two years is a play for all of this attention, a play for influence. As Democrats try to find ways to garner more votes, because that seems to be what they're targeted on by not having the, the various representatives and others running for office even debate, as we saw with Hobbs. She didn't even debate. She didn't even debate Carrie Lake. They didn't even have a debate. It was completely dismissed. All they're going for now, it would appear, is votes. And that's why we saw on The View, where a particular person on The View, you guys may have seen my short on that, was saying that she voted for her son. It's a dog whistle to let Democrats know that they can inform their adult children to register, get their mail-in ballots, the parents will invite them over or encourage them to fill the ballot out, and the parent will then mail it for them so they don't have to be inconvenienced by having to go and actually vote at their precincts. Now, here in Georgia, we have early voting for the runoff between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker. I've not gone to vote yet. I'm going to wait till actual uh, election day on December the 6th. So, ladies and gentlemen, here on the Buzzweaver channel, I just wanted to let you guys know that you can check out the current situation that's going on with Mike Pence. by uh, You can just Google this from ground if you want to. Uh, here are some of the news agencies you guys can Google. Uh, ABC 30 News, Mike Pence calls on Donald Trump to apologize. So you guys can uh, check that, check those out. But what I really wanted to focus on was the play for influence by all of these parties involved. And in the next two years, you're going to be seeing this play for influence. Guilt by association when it comes to Donald Trump and plays for influence. I'd like to get your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you think that people are so fatigued now just on politics in general? Do you think that we're getting to a point now where it's all just about just getting these people elected so that they can be in positions of power? what their levels of influence are. And we're seeing, of course, Elon Musk being affected by this as well, where he says, Musk says, granting amnesty to suspended Twitter accounts, which could include up to Alex Jones. Now, we don't know whether or not that'll actually happen, but this is kind of Musk kind of probably washing his hands in it, whether or not Alex Jones will return. But free speech is going very well, or free speech with certain levels of uh, context, of course. But nonetheless, guys, Thank you so much for your continued support here on the channel. That would be the channel icon appearing right there on the screen for you guys to click on and subscribe, as well as to select notifications that way you know when it's continuing on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.